SR500 Unpacking the SR500 Check that the packaging contains Fan unit SR500 Battery Battery charger Belt Particle filter SR510 P3R Filter adapters Pre-filters SR221 Pre-filter holders Flow meter User instructions Plug kit Cleaning tissue Assembling the fan unit Battery Release the battery Remove the protective tape Connect the power supply to the battery charger and the charger to the battery. Charging takes place automatically in three steps. Orange LED, yellow LED, green LED. Push the battery back into the battery compartment. Check that its lock is operative. Assembly belt. Insert the three tongues of the belt half into the slot in the fan unit. Press down the three lips. Correctly mounted belt. Particle filter. Check that the gaskets are in place and in good condition. Snap the filter onto the filter adapter. Do not press onto the center of the filter. It might damage the filter paper. Screw the adapter into the filter mounting. Then turn it about 1 8 turn further. Fit one pre filter into the pre filter holder. Press the pre filter holder onto the particle filter. Correctly mounted pre-filter holder with particle filter. Combined filters, gas filter and particle filter. Check that the gaskets are in place and in good condition. Snap the particle filter onto the gas filter. The arrows on the particle filter must point towards the gas filter. Do not press onto the center of the filter. It might damage the filter paper. Screw the filter combination into the filter mounting. Then turn it about 1 8 turn further. Fit one pre filter into the pre filter holder. Press the pre filter holder onto the particle filter. The filters used must be of the same type, i.e., 2 SR510 P3 or 2 SR518 A2, SR510 P3, etc. When filters are changed, both filters, combined filters, must be changed at the same time. Operation Performance Start a fan by pressing the control button. A program test will be run on the fan and the audible signal will sound and the vibrator will vibrate twice.
the fan starts in normal operating status. 175 liter per minute. If the button is pressed again, the flow will increase to 240 liters per minute and the large fan symbol lights up. The battery symbol on the display indicates the battery capacity. 1. Lights green, over 70%. 2. Flashing green, 50 to 70%. 3. Lights yellow, 20 to 50%. 4. Flashing red, under 20%. When about 5% of the battery capacity is left, the fan will begin to initiate an alarm and the battery symbol will flash. The battery capacity is sufficient to allow the work to be concluded without undue haste. The work should then be interrupted and the wearer of the equipment should leave the site. To switch off the fan, keep the control button depressed for about two seconds. Performance check, minimum flow. Turn the flow meter bag inside out so that the transparent measuring tube is on the outside. Place the head top in the flow meter bag. Connect the hose from the head top to the fan unit and turn it clockwise, about one-eighth of a turn. Start the fan unit. Grip the lower part of the bag in order to seal around the hose. Grip around the measuring tube and hold the tube vertical. The ball should now hover in level with or just over the 175 liter per minute marking. If the minimum flow is not achieved, check that the flow meter is vertical. The ball moves freely. The bag seals well around the hose. Performance check. Alarms. The equipment is designed to provide a warning if the airflow is obstructed. And this should be checked in conjunction with the flow. Check before the equipment is taken into use. Cause a flow stoppage by still holding tightly the joint between the hose and the flow meter bag and then blocking off the flow meter outlet. The fan will now initiate an alarm by audible and visual signals and vibrations. If the flow meter outlet is now unblocked and the air is allowed to flow freely, the alarm signals will cease within 10 to 15 seconds. Switch off the fan and remove the head top from the flow meter bag. Clogged filter alarm. If the particle filters are clogged, a continuous sound signal will be heard for five seconds. The built-in vibrator will be activated for five seconds. The red warning triangle in the display will flash. The warning triangle will flash continuously whereas the sound signal and the vibrator will be repeated at intervals of 80 seconds. Immediately interrupt the work, leave the area and change the filter. Visual inspection. Check that the fan unit is complete, correctly mounted, thoroughly cleaned and undamaged. Putting the equipment on. Before putting the equipment on, read carefully the user instructions for the head top. After the filter has been fitted, a performance check has been carried out 
and a head top has been connected. The equipment can be put on. Snap the two parts of the buckle together. Tighten the belt so that it's comfortable. The fan should be firmly in contact with the wearer's back in order to ensure optimum comfort and ergonomic benefits. Change the particle filters. Both filters must be changed at the same time. Bend the pre-filter holder from the filter adapter. Place the thumb on the underside of the adapter and price out the filter. Change pre-filter by press it in the middle and then remove it. Mount the new filters on the adapters and fit them in the fan unit. Fit the pre-filter holders back on the particle filters. Change the gas filters, combined filters. Both filters, combined filters, must be changed at the same time and must be of the same type and class. Price the particle filter off the gas filter. As an alternative, the filter combination can be separated by means of the filter adapter. Change the gasket in the fan unit. Remove the old gasket. Fit the new gasket onto the flange. Check that the gasket is in place all round. Cleaning Disinfection The plug kit is used for cleaning or decontamination of the fan unit and prevents dirt and water from entering the fan housing. Disconnect the breathing hose and the filters and install the plugs. For daily care, use Sundström's cleaning tissue SR5226. In the event of heavy fouling, a soft brush or sponge wetted with a solution of water and dishwashing detergent can be used. If necessary, spray the product with 70% ethanol or isopropanol solution for disinfection. Storage. After cleaning, store the equipment in a clean and dry place at room temperature. Avoid exposing into direct sunlight or other heat sources. The flow meter can be turned inside out and can be used as a storage bag for the head top and the fan unit. An alternative to storage is our SR505 storage bag. 